Rigadi Gashagwa has made history as the first deputy president of the Republic of Kenya to be impeached. The former Madeira Member of Parliament also holds the record of having served the shortest period as DP under the 2010 Constitution. Here is a look at how the former second most powerful man fell from grace and favour with his boss. Brenda Wanga has more. To the best of my judgment. I'm sorry, let's take it again. When he took that oath of office two years ago before a packed stadium at Kasarani, Rigadi cut the image of a man eager, almost impatient to ascend to the second highest office in the land. Truly and diligently, truly and diligently, serve the people. He had risen nearly meteorically from a businessman, one term MP, to the deputy president of the republic. <laughs> And just as fast as he had ascended to the presidency, he has been kicked out in a process that took all of three weeks, including parliamentary processes and yet-to-be-concluded court challenges. Gashagwa was stripped not just of the second highest office of the land, but the perks and privileges that come with it, days before he was replaced by Professor Kinde Kikithure. But let me leave. Let me look after my children. You can do whatever you want with the country. The fallout between the president and his deputy happened at lightning speed. From both some buddies who hit the campaign trail together to an estranged couple who couldn't stay in the same space. I was removed. My private secretary was removed. My uh, chief of staff was removed. So we have no access uh, to the president's diet. Who removed you? Uh, the private secretary to the president. Gashagwa, who latched on to the Mount Kenya region votes that he said helped propel Ruto to the presidency, vowed to protect that seat at all costs, looking at those he perceived as intruders. But he didn't stop there. In his quest for the protection of the presidency and the Kenya Kwanzaa government, he vehemently agitated for the shareholding narrative in government. I want this region to deliver a decisive vote for President William Ruto in 2027 and to make sure that we increase our shareholding in his government from 47% to almost 60%. Many people are uncomfortable about our shareholding. Nikidogo is only 47. 27 to the youngest itakuwa mingi zaidi. It is this push that provided fertile ground for the moving of the impeachment motion that has eventually removed Rigadi Gashagwa once a heartbeat away from the presidency from that office. In both houses of parliament, Gashagwa, or Rigiji, as he was also known, was accused of corruption, insubordination, undermining the government, and practicing ethnically divisive politics among a host of other charges. If the deputy president had been quiet, he would have carried many people in this house. But he did not tame the tongue. But if the Ruto Gashagwa's union was on shaky ground, things escalated after the deadly anti-finance bill demonstrations that erupted in the country in June. Critics accused Gashago of having a hand in the protests, claims he denied. In an unprecedented move, he went on record attacking the government's security and intelligence agencies in the wake of those protests. These actions served to drive even more nails in his political coffin. So many Kenyans would not have died. Property would not have been destroyed. Offices would not have been touched. There would have been no mayhem. But they slept on the job. The self-proclaimed truthful man has previously served as a one-term MP for Madeira, personal assistant to former President Uhuru Kenyatta and district officer before achieving what had been seen as a impossible by clinching the running mate slot for the Kenya Kwanzaa presidential ticket. The 59-year-old Bachelor of Arts and Political Science graduate now has to contend with the title of the man who served for less than half his term as the country's second deputy president. Brenda Wanga. Citizen TV.